Once Human, finally here, and we're gonna check it out. Thanks for joining me, and if you're new, welcome to the channel. I did play this on the demo a little bit. Um, it's interesting, and it wasn't running very well, so I'm hoping that it runs much better now that it's full release. I'm sure there's gonna be optimization issues as you normally would get. This is a free-to-play game, and if you want to try it out, the link will be in the description below. Let's just enter the game. All right, character creation. That's pretty interesting. Oh, we're on 1920 1080p, just so you know. It just runs much smoother. So let's see. Type 2, type 1. We're going to go with female, because I'd rather stare at a chick than a dude. I eh, kind of liking that. Yeah, it looks good to me. All right, so we can do the face. You know, we're just going to leave all that alone. Body. Hot damn, what the hell, man? It's like a porno at this point. Chest. Yep. Nailed it. Perfect. Well, let's go. Wait, we can go bigger? What is that? What does that do? Oh. Uh, nah. We'll leave that at 50. Perfect. Alright. Name character. Complete character creation. Oh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> Wobble. Liquid nitrogen, negative 195.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function, not detected. Subject status, stable. Dagger, still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Secure me, breach. Secure me, breach. <laughs> I'm not sure what the hell's going on right now. Um, we got something sticking out of our stomach. Oh, we're gonna remove it and bleed to death. Oh, and we're in. All right, sweet. Um, we should probably get all of the uh, stuff and things possible. Shift, initiate, sprint. Yep. Oh, yeah, leave. Okay, so this is the tutorial. I don't know if I should be skipping all this crap with you guys, or if you guys... I don't know. You know, I'm just going to leave it in the recording. If you want to skip it, then I'll put a chapter in there to skip the uh, tutorial and get straight to the game. Deviation 0... No, A073. Securement Memo. You know what to do. Pause it if you want to read it. I ain't reading the shit.
Now, even on 1080p, it's not running super great. Um, wait. Do I have a password? <laughs> I didn't pay any attention to that. How do I get to the, uh, gear, blueprints, cosmetics? Holy shit. There's so much stuff. Now, I don't know if this is a pay-to-win kind of thing. I imagine it probably is. But, uh... I don't know. Take it a grain with salt. Take it a salt. Take some salt. Take, you know, eat salt. <laughs> How the hell... Uh, do I have to go investigate that? I forgot the, um... Oh, it's right there on the top left, stupid. 0728. Okay, right click, power attack. Frickin' John Wick, what the hell, man? Okay, that's cool. We're good. Okay, yep. Stuff and things, okay. Nailed it, aced it. Intelligent. It does look kind of cool. I wish I could play this on 1440p. Okay, we got a backpack. Um, and a bird of sorts. I don't remember who this is. Uh, nope, not V. F. Oh, his name is V, I guess. Talk to the strange bird. Well, it's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. And you're a metahuman, too. Uh, you know who I am. How about metahuman? I don't know who you are. But I know what you are. You awakened the cradle. And that's something only a metahuman could do. You've lost your memory. Do you remember who you are? Uh, no, I don't. It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, MetaHuman. It's weird that there's no dialogue for... Um, my character. I think they should have done something with that. It's just kind of weird that it's just silent. Uh, why did you come here? I came to secure a deviation. A paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place, but only if you help me complete my mission first. All right? All you have to do is listen to what I tell you. Oh, we're going through a magic door. All right. Is there anything to search in here? Doesn't appear to be the case. Uh, F. Oh, we get a weapon. We got a machete. Actually, I think that's what I got in the demo as well. So far, I don't notice anything different than the demo. Looks identical. Um, the uh, optimization is identical too. I've been getting a lot of chunkiness. With stardust. It's called a deviant. Our world has been overrun with deviants ever since Starfall. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of stardust exposure. When they do, they end up just like that thing. But if you're a method, you should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right, 
You might even be able to use Stardust to your advantage. I mean, I'm only on medium settings too, which is weird. Alright, what are we doing now? We go over here? Gear. Oh, we got a hat. Eh, hell yeah, look, auto-equip. Oh, dude, we're looking sweet. Um. Maybe a stronger bra, though. They're looking a little low, aren't they? Okay. So is there other... Oh, yeah, look. There's something to search right here. Oh, God, I didn't even see that thing there. All right, come on. Let's go. How's the machete taste? Probably like metal. What is this? F claymore? Or... Oh, okay. F is claymore. All right. Yep. What is you? A Molotov. Okay. I'm down for that. Let's see what else is there. Doesn't look like anything else down here. Let's head up. My god, look at that ass. Okay, you guys... God, you guys are so dirty. Uh, yep. Stuff. Yep. Nailed it. Okay, there's a door. I'm not sure... Wait. There's a box right there. So red goes to the red, obvious, right? Yeah. Take it all. Okay, hold on. What else do we have in here? Molotov cocktail. Can I equip? Oh, it is equipped. Hot bar. Candle. I don't want this on my hot bar. Okay, so the gear is separate from the backpack, I think. Okay. I, actually, I like that. All right. We're going to put... Nope. Food and water can go back here. Health can go over here. Sanity gummy? I don't really know what the hell that is. Shabby fabric. Access card. Alright, let's check everything. Okay, yep. We got boobs. We have legs. And a machete. And a bunch of blueprints we can't do anything with. There's a torch. I imagine we can't craft this yet. Tasks to complete. Yeah, okay, yeah. Alright, let's go. Quit dicking around. Okay, I do like that. I like the travel. Um, I guess you can call it traversing. I'm not sure. But it's pretty cool. And this is different. This seems different to me. Wow, yeah. This isn't, though. I remember this. Oh, well, maybe maybe it is the same. I don't know. Uh, no. Okay, yep. Yeah, it's fine. Investigate. Yep. We got more food. Oh, and boots. Did they put them on? Yeah, they're on. Oh, shit. Food and water. I have a feeling that's going to be a big deal in this game. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, we're good. We're not stuck anymore. I don't think there's anything else to search, but just to make sure. Okay. Let's talk to the scary girl. Oh, or, or touch the scary girl. DVT-011. My name is Victor Hammond. My butterfly. It's mine. We need something powerful. Hey, we're snapping our fingers and it brings up these uh 
I don't know what you want to call them. Echoes or something? Hey, we can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path and bring about true evolution. This will be the Mayfly's mission. This uh, should we be going down here? Oh yeah, we absolutely should be. Uh, more food and water. And a dead end. Even though it looks like it's a jar. Open. Oh, hello, weirdo. Oh, hell yeah, we got gloves. Okay, we can pick that up, but I think... Wasn't there another door over here? Yeah. Oh! Can we fall? Is that death? I don't know if it is or not. How is there nothing in here? It's very, very chunky in here. Can we interact? No, we can't interact. Alright. Oh, we can fall. Should we try it? Oh, I guess we can't fall. Alright. Okay, space. Basically, six cents. Okay, we're shooting them with our briefcase uh, launcher. Radiation. We found it. Reach out your left hand and see if you can feel the rhythm of it. How do we get rid of then the? Uh... Try and secure it. Oh, what the crap? No, stop. Okay. Right click. Drops everything. Chance to secure. Okay, and we're in. It does not look very good at all, actually. Looks ugly as all could be. I'm gonna try to fix that. Okay, and we're back. I don't know if that's any better. It looks a little better, I guess. Well, we're about to see how it performs, though. Now we're on 1440p. Usually, it doesn't work super great on my system. Alright, let's talk to Mitsuko. Yeah, Mitsuko. Yes, and look what I found. A meta. Only just woken up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, meta human. Your help means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a meta human as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the stardust. It's thanks to her. That I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. So this proper butterfly is the deviation you were looking for. Yes. The butterfly is an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it and ensure its safety. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. Alright, what are we doing? We take the, uh... We use the facility, right? Wait. Uh, place the butterfly. Okay. To 
deposit. Right click. The butterfly has recovered. I think it likes you. Okay, I guess it does. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. And this is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're finding ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. This is our best chance of cleaning up Rosetta's mess. No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. We believe that's what caused Starfall. Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them. But if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. You must be prepared. The stardust just keeps spreading. And we aren't sure why. Oh, bad things are happening right now. Be careful. That must be a siren. Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space, and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help. Yeah, that bird just said shit. Uh, we got a backpack and arrows, so that's cool. Love to see them weapons. Um, shabby fabric. I don't know what that's for. Should we go upstairs and search? Wait, what is this? Oh, look at this. Take it all. There's probably stuff up here. Or not. No, but pretty good looking view. Bitch and porch. I'm not sure what that thing is. We'll probably eventually see it up close. All right, let's mess around with this butterfly. What are we doing here? Withdraw. Interact with the isolated securement unit to view the details of butterfly's emissary. Uh, what? F sync. Control, okay. This is basically an attack. Click to sync. I clicked it. Synchronize to cradle. Use the pickaxe. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, we have a pickaxe? Wait, what? How the hell did we get that? Okay. Guess we'll do that. Do I not have... So I don't know where 1, 2, and 3 are. Okay, so what are we doing now? Oh, we're going over here. Uh, F. And we can pick up dirty water. We might as well, I guess. It just keeps going. Okay, that's fine. You know what? You got enough dirty water. There's no running in the water. Okay. We gotta come over here, chop down some more. Oh! Equip a gathering tool before you start collecting resources. It's much faster than doing it barehanded. 
You can craft gathering tools at the campsite or supplies workbench. The more advanced the tool, the more quickly you'll be able to harvest resources. Oh, okay. We need more logs, so let's chop this tree. Banyan. Oh shit, we chopped the whole thing down. Alright. Uh, now we need gravel. Can we just use the same... Yeah. One tool to rule them all. What are you, special thing? Copper. We're taking it. Okay, we need more gravel though. Um, I see loads of stuff of, over here. That's sulfur. And gravel. I think I'm gonna like this game. Look, first of all, it looks great. And so far, it's functioning fairly well. Uh, T, set up campsite. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. What is E? Why is it... So bottom right over there, it says E, the butterfly? Does he need a target? Auto attack? Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. I think what we're gonna do is just put our stuff and things right here. Craft with bare hands in a campsite to craft basic gear, tools, and dishes. These will help you survive better in the wilderness. So top left, craft a rustic arrow, or crossbow, craft arrows, and prepare boiled water at the campsite. Okay, so... Uh, F. Boiled water. Nothing in crafting queue. How do I craft... Okay, there we go. Um, blue five. Okay, craft weapon. We're supposed to do a crossbow. Equip as primary. Sure. We make this. Yep. Might as well do a torch, right? I equipped it somehow. I'm not sure what I did there. Can we make this? We need hide. Okay, we can't really do anything with the armor. Craft arrows. Okay, we need to craft arrows. How do I do that? Uh, F? Oh, arrows. What is going on here? Oh, okay. We're still crafting stuff. So that and the water is being crafted. I think. Yeah, crafting Q. So the arrows are almost done. Okay, there we go. And we click them to collect it. Crack down a... Crack down attacking deviants. What the crap are you talking about? How do I get my weapon out? There it is. Alright. I think we're ready. We have 25 arrows. <laughs> That's probably not enough. Okay, let's let's check our inventory just real quick like. So that's equipped. Bunch of random stuff. Activator, a miracle cure. Okay, that's for health. Click on armor slots to switch your armor. Do we actually have? Oh, we do have armor. Well, I mean, not quite as sexy, but 
protection, right? Do we have more gloves? No. Wait, hold on. It said cosmetics. Let's check that. We can't do anything. Alright, I guess we're fighting. Dude, we got weapon stuff right here. What the hell, man? Yeah, take it. There's friggin' arrows right there. I didn't have to craft them. We're heading upstairs, though, that's for sure. This seems safer. We're gonna shoot this dude in the face. Yep. This siren. So strong. Okay. Butterfly, I choose you. Um, auto attack. Now you'll see for yourself what it's capable of. Yep. Is it doing anything? I feel like it's not attacking shit. Oh yeah, it is. Let's see. Okay, headshot's definitely more powerful. Nailed it. We're professionals. Monster assassins. Forcibly recall deviation. Alright. Oh, we got stuff and things down there. Can we just jump over this and not die? Yep. Oh no, deviation escaped. That's great. Did you see that 20% chance thing? I have a feeling that's where the uh, microtransaction crap is going to happen. Damn, it escaped. That was a difficult fight. Just driving it away was enough. And it's all thanks to you, Meta, for saving us. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you saved me. Yes. Mitsuko created this rift space. A refuge from the dangers of the physical world. Or so we thought. Do you think that deviation will come back? What if it returns with greater disruptions? It's possible. We can't just sit here and wait, though. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Sure. Sounds like fun. Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Hopefully, we'll meet again one day. When the Stardust is stable enough. It looks like this is goodbye. Good luck, Meta. Before you go. If you have any questions, I can try and answer them for you. Okay. We don't have questions. Let's just go. Alright, we're, 
um, we're in, oh, I think. That. 20 years after Starfall, and the world is still infested with Stardust. I can see all the... Like the monoliths here have been reactivated too. They might hold the key to all the Stardust pollution. I can see all the player buildings. There's one right there. Right here. Right there. I kind of want to build on top of this hill. Though I imagine building by water is probably smarter. Oh, there's a player. Oh, there's a bunch of players. Look at it. You can see them all running down. They're like little ants. Oh, it's dark. It's dark and nasty. Is there no way down faster? Oh! Okay, space bar. <laughs> now that we've made it, let's set up a territory. Find a suitable location and press B. Oh, okay. Territory terminal forms the basis of your territory. Defines the area in which you can build. You're free to construct your home as you see fit within this area, and you'll have access to functions such as crafting, planting, disassembly, and more. Okay, first glance. Looking pretty good. Water looks strange. Come here, dear. Nailed it. Dinner tonight. Okay, we got deer meat and hide from that. That's good. Wait, what? Oh, I can get my arrow back. That's cool. So there's a player right there. It's a player. Bunch of players over there. God, there's a shit ton of players right here. Oh, and there's someone's already building right here. Oh, there's that bus thing. You can actually ride that. I don't particularly want to, but you can if you want to. I think we found a place to build. Can we build here? It looks like we can. How about right here? This looks bitchin'. I don't even see anyone over here. And there's tons of deer, tons of wildlife. But we build right on the water. Like right here. This is our front porch. Nice work. I've managed to unlock some memetics from Mitsuko. If you access them through your cradle, you'll be able to craft and build what we need. Hold tab to bring up functional wheel and select the cradle. I'm holding tab, nothing's happening. Uh, B, hold tab. Oh, there we go. Cradle. Cypher's available 11. I'm not sure what they want me to do. Oh, infrastructure. Various kinds of building and item formulas can be learned from memetic nodes. So am I clicking this? Uh, sure. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Confirm. Even with memetics, you still won't be able to craft anything out of thin air. We'd better gather some ore and logs. Ore and rocks, alright. We definitely need that. Apply current cipher, yeah. HP recovery, what was that? Essential tools, ammunition, gear workbench. A stove? Oh, that's cool. Hell yeah. We need a roof, absolutely, and a storage. A door. Okay, we have the basics for... <laughs> we can make a garage. 
Okay, this is cool. I li I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. How many? We have one more. How about a stove? For food, I guess? Let's see. What else is in here? Basic gear. That takes two points. Also two points. Ammunition or a gear workbench. Probably, you know what? I'm going to say gear. All right. We have blueprints, so we can make a gun. We can make one gun. Shetty and torch. I imagine you can upgrade this. That's what these are for. So tiers. Tier 1, 2, 3, and 4, I think. This one can go up to tier 5. Cosmetics. Um, I'm not going to worry about cosmetics right now. Let's just get rid of the yellow dots. Gather gravel. Okay, we need our pickaxe, right? Gather gravel and copper ore. Alright, beast, we need a disassembly bench and a furnace. That thing looks cool. It looked a little bit on the jittery side. So when it does that, you can get on the bus and then I, there's probably, I think there's a crate in there. And it just takes you around the map. Okay, what is, what am I doing now? What does it say? Press B and territory to enter build mode and build a furnace. Uh, furnace. How do I build a furnace? Build menu. Right click is build menu. Okay, wait, we have structures. We already know what we have here. Oh my god, look at all that. Okay, so that's... That's just... Okay, we have interior steps. Windows. A balcony. Um, facilities. Gear workbench, furnace. Disassembly bench. We need to make that, but we need this first. Furnace. Well, let's see what else is in here. Hold on, we're not done. Storage. Large crate. Crate. Private storage. A mailbox. Isolated securement unit. We're gonna need that. Stardust resonant filter. There's so much stuff, I have no idea what any of it is. A floor mirror. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay, we need... What do we, we need this. I don't know where the hell we're supposed to put this. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a wood ceiling. How do I get to... Is it all just wood ceilings? That's roof. Oh yeah, it kind of looks like it. Oh, no, that's right here. Wood foundation, wood ceiling. Okay, we need this. What am I missing for that? Logs? We need to expand the base first before we do anything. Let's do that. Uh, no. Get out. B. Okay. We're gonna get some wood. It is also now dark, and that's a little creepy. Okay. We are going to build a little bit wider. Wood tri found No, we just want a normal foundation. Maybe build... This way a bit. Now, let's see, that's running into that. Let's build out this way. Why are you placed like that? That sucks. Um, cancel adjust. How do I dismantle? Any more gravel. 
Let's go get more gravel. Alright, I want to get this built up a little bit. Because... Well, one... I, uh... I don't want to get caught with my pants down and then all of a sudden I get some form of boss raid or... Something happen, you know. Bad things can easily happen. Let's see. Kind of want to go a little... You know what? That, that's probably fine. We can expand later. Let's find a wall. Now, is there a particular... Oh, man, that's difficult. Rotate. Just height. Wait, what? Can't adjust that height. Or I'm just gonna put one here. Um. I'm not gonna worry about windows. You know what? One of those should have been a door. That. We'll do the windows right here, I guess. Wooden square frame. How do I do a window? Oh, here we go. Window wall one. I'm kind of liking that. Yeah, looks good to me. We're going to be out of wood. Alright, I can't do windows because I need adhesive and glass. Which makes sense. Uh, let's see. I do have that. I think it's good enough. Now we can actually start um, doing stuff and things that we need to do. Quest line, anyway. So we need a furnace and a disassembly bench. So we come in here, we do this. Facilities. Here's our furnace. I don't know where to put something like this. I, I'm wondering if we can move these, because that's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, is there a... Uh, Build mode, where you can move. Shift, align, adjustment. Okay. That's control. What does shift do? Shift and control does the same thing. Use the furnace to refine raw materials into something more practical. We'll oh, shit. For advanced items. Those be ores become much more useful once you turn them into pure metal. Okay, so furnace, and we also have an electric furnace, which I did not see uh, in the menu, but that's fine. Okay, craft. Charcoal, we need copper, so what do you need for this? We need charcoal, so we need to make charcoal. Um, I don't know, we'll just do all that. How long does that take? That's not that bad. We need a disassembly bench. We need copper ingots for that. Oh, it's right here. Okay, there's that. Now we need copper ingot. I'll just craft all of it. Oh, we can make glass in this thing, too. What does that take? Gravel and charcoal makes glass. Interesting. Worry about that later. Oh, sweet. Okay, this is our vault. Uh, detail. Wait, what did that say? Territory upgrade. Expansion one. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Mods, blueprints, memetics cradle. Do we have more points? Uh, we do not. Level 5, level 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. Alright, maybe now we can build the workbench. Or disassembly bench. Whoops. Go here, right click, facilities, 
Yep. Okay, the placement is strange. Nice. This is a strong foundation for us to build upon. I've set up a journey interface to help track our progress. For each task you complete, you'll unlock some supplies we can use. Press J to open the journey screen, learn about the journey task, and collect your reward. So far, what we've got won't do much against those deviants out there. We need proper weapons and armor. There are some abandoned Rosetta facilities nearby. Maybe we could find some useful supply crates there. I've marked their locations on your map. Level four. Okay. Go to the monolith ruin to search for supplies. Disassemble scrap once at the disassemble. Alright, let's see if we can disassemble anything. Um... Uh, we don't really have anything to disassemble. Can we do that? Waste plastic? Test subject top. Uh, sure. But it actually wants us to disassemble scrap, and we have no scrap to do that with, so... Let's go, uh... Let's go out and about. Oh, I'm dying of thirst. That might be why I can't run. Um, wait. Um, what was that? Zero? No. There we go. I'm also hungry. <laughs> I'm basically dying. Alright, we're good. There, see, now I can run, because I'm not thirsty. Oh, baddies. It's very, very chunky. crap so pretty much a billboard I don't okay <laughs> I don't know what that was a lot of searchable stuff a toilet plunger nice okay can we search the truck can't search any others oh, a football don't know why we would need that Acid and arrows. This crossbow is pretty baller. At least in this area. Let me search the car. Uh, I know it's based on weight. What's our weight at? Now oh, we're pretty light. Ugh, oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Treasure chest, what is this? Take ladder on the side of building. What the hell is this? Okay. Take lever, ladder on the side of building. We're a little sidetracked. This is going to be a really long freaking episode. <laughs> Somewhere around here. Can we climb this? No. Oh, man. Oh, I'm hearing something. Okay, there's a chest around here somewhere. How the hell am I supposed to get there, though?
It's right there. There's another football. I don't know what the hell the footballs are for. Oh, here we go. Alright, look at this. A chest. Copper pistol ammo, copper rifle bullet. Holy hell. Okay, that's a damn good find, I think. I mean, ammo? Okay, we do take fall damage. Let's see if this hurts us. Uh, nope. About this. Nope, we're good. Let's get out. Okay, we're here. We just go around searching, I guess. Oh, baddie? Nope. Player. This is not PvP. At least I don't think it is. Another football. Something weird right here. Oh my god. For Rosetta Supply Crate. I need the torch out, don't I? Even though that doesn't do a whole hell of a lot for us. Ballpoint pen. Okay, I'm sure a lot of this is going to be helpful later on down the road. I just don't know what any of it is right now. What is this? Hold on. Lucky's post. Like for a reward? Reward is given to you by liking this post. Thank me later. I don't... What is this? I have no idea what the hell that was. Okay. We're going over here now. Season rewards available. Oh, adventures. Okay, there's so much happening right now. Oh, and just so y'all know, this is based on a... I think the original platform was a mobile game. This is a mobile game. Um, turned into a PC game, from what I'm gathering. I could be wrong. off my stuff what the hell didn't see your name on it you're pretty cocky for someone who doesn't even have a weapon quite impressive to be honest hold on is that a cradle on your back are you a mayfly how interesting i thought i was the only mayfly left since we're both mayflies what's your name I'm Mary. It's a good thing I met you. I'm thinking as fellow Mayflies, we should be able to help each other out. I came here to investigate a deviation that's been causing issues. I think it's connected to a recently reopened monolith nearby. Um, we've been chasing it too. Don't tell me you're going to try and take on a powerful deviation barehanded. Even an ordinary deviant could tear you apart right now. You're pretty inexperienced, aren't you? I'm going to give you a blueprint. Use it to make yourself a gun. Trust me. You'll need one if you want to stand even half a chance of surviving out there. While you're doing that, I have other matters to attend to. Once you're done, come find me in Deadsville. 
It's the nearest survivor settlement. We can plan our next steps from there. After all, two heads are better than one. And I'd never turn down help. Okay. So we have a rifle unlocked for the blueprint. So another Mayfly survived. Return to my territory. I can't remember her. My memory's been patchy ever since Mitsuko revived me. Just to be safe. We better not share the existence of Mitsuko with that woman. That blueprint is rock solid, though. We can use it to make a real gun. I just realized we Check can... Check your memetics and start by building a gear workbench. Are you done? Can I talk now? Okay, thanks. I just realized I can teleport, which is freaking fantastic. Um, but I still want to... Like, what is this? I don't know. It disappeared. What are you? It's above you. After grabbing the first one, the second one spawns above. Climb up and jump to get it. This is player stuff. Um. Yeah, I don't... I'm not going to dick around with that. I do want to do a little bit of searching, though. Like, there's a crate up there. Can we vault up there? Maybe? No. There's probably a ladder. Oh, we can go right here. Okay, we got a roll brush. Paint brush. Paint roller? Whatever the hell it's called. Oh, dude, can we steal their vehicles? Nope. <laughs> Would have been sweet. What is this? Do a little bit of search, then we'll go back to camp. Oh, it's a player's stuff. I'll take it. Well, at least it's turning daytime. What are you, tree? Is that an apple? Apple tree. Eh, we don't need that. We'll leave it. He probably wants it there. I think this is where we were. Yeah. Hunger and thirst is doing all right. Got some blankets. Nothing in here. I hear something. Let's go find it. Oh, Chunky. Is he in here? Dude, all kinds of stuff in that one. I like how when you're searching for in a uh, searching in a crate, you can look around. You're not stuck in one position. I heard it, but he's gone. Okay. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's up top. Why are you up there, man? Here, let me help. He had ass on him. Coat hanger, jump rope, wrench, shabby fabric. Nice. All right. Dude, get the fuck off my kill. Alright, I'm thinking we teleport back to base. Oh, what the hell? It's the second time that's happened. I don't know what it is. Oh, here's another crate. A bookcase, okay. Well, that's cool.
Dude, there's so much stuff to search. Alright, let's head back to base. So, map. And... F for teleport. Alright, so, journey. Disassemble scrap. Pretty sure we can do that. Uh, yep. Yep, yep. Oh, dude, we got a ton of stuff. Scrap, coarse body. I don't know what that means. A discarded weapon accessory. So we can... Oh, there we go. Can we just disassemble... Anything? It must have for those who wish to fasten one thing to another. Connector firmware. We probably shouldn't do that. But an alarm clock. Not gonna need that. Vanity box. Football? Stapler? Okay, we can pretty much do all this. Probably keep the tools though, right? Broken flashlight. Rogan turns on and off at random. I'm not gonna dick with that. Paintbrush. Ballpoint pen. This reminds me of Rust. The way this is going right here. Okay. So we did that. Open the memetic screen and unlock ammunition one. Uh, memetic. And that would be right here. Yep. Confirm. And we already have that. Basic gear. HP recovery. Adrenaline shots. Should we confirm this? Let's follow the tutorial before I screw something up. Rainwater, rainwater collection system will probably be very helpful. Now, let's follow the tutorial. Go to build mode and build the gear workbench. Okay. Gear workbench and any storage. It's really quite big. What am I missing? Copper ingots. You know, guys, I think we're going to leave the episode here. Um, I'm liking this. I like this a lot. I love the whole looting aspect of it. And um, as far as I can tell, it doesn't look like it's PvP, which I like. I hate PvP. Um, griefing is the worst goddamn thing in a game aside from stamina. Fuck stamina. Anyway, thanks for joining me. You guys are fantastic. Thank you for all the support. If you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. That lets me know you guys do want to see more. This is Wobble Pop Gaming, and I will see you in the next one.